guys, Andrea Garcia here. Welcome to another Fancy Me DIY tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of these gorgeous crystal cuff bracelets. Absolutely easy to make. It's not even gonna take you that long to make it. But they're really gorgeous, especially for those of you that are into crystals and healing crystals and all of that sort. As you guys have noticed, I've been incorporating a lot of the crystal gems and stones into all of my past DIY tutorials. If you wanna read up more on crystals and the healing properties that they have, I suggest that you do. I have a little bit of blurb on that on my blog as well if you guys want to find out and get down with the crystals. But even if you're not down with the crystals, they are still very gorgeous jewelry pieces as you can see here. This cuff was very, very easy to make. I had a lot of my crystals hanging around so I figured I would use them to do something else with a little jewelry piece. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. For this tutorial, you need the following materials. You want to start off with your trusty E6000 glue. Also, a variety of different clusters of crystals. I found all of these clusters, different colors, at Michael's Craft Store. I will provide links to some other online shops. You also need a geode. This is a crystal that comes in a little ball and you actually crack it open. This is optional. A little tool, a rock. And of course, a cuff. I bought this at Michael's. It was two for one. This is Bead Landing brand, but you can use any cuff you'd like. So this is gonna be incredibly easy to put together. You wanna start off by taking some of your crystal clusters and kind of figuring out how you want the clusters to lay on your cuff. So just kind of figure out the template for that. And once you have your template in place, as you can see, this is the order that I want it to go on my cuff. Take a lot of your E6000 glue. Now you can individually put all the pieces right directly on the cuff in the order that you want, or you can opt to also just fill the entire flat surface of the cuff with glue and then place the crystal pieces over it. So go ahead and repeat this with all of your small crystal pieces until the top of your cuff is full. So now that I have my cuff all done, I'm gonna leave it off to the side to dry and we're gonna take it one step further. This is completely optional. Now this is a geode. This is a crystal that comes in a round ball. I already cracked mine open. And using the end of a flat screwdriver and a little rock, I'm going to kind of bang it a little bit on the inside to get a lot of these crystal clusters out. The reason I'm doing this is to fill all the small little crevice pieces of my cuff in with these little crystal pieces so it gives it a nice fuller look. As you can see on the sides and on the inside corners of where the crystals are, um, there's little gaps. So I'm gonna be filling this up with a little, um, some of my smaller crystals um, that are found in the geode. Again, this is completely optional. I'll go ahead and I'll provide a link of where you can purchase those as well. And once you've filled up the little vacant spots on your cuff with the crystals, just go ahead and place it off to the side to dry. And that's about it for the cuff bracelet tutorial and this is what your end product should look like. And that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, this was very easy to make and they're absolutely gorgeous and stunning. But yes, I went ahead and I created a Pinterest board with a few more samples of inspiration for these bracelets if you guys need a little bit more visual inspiration when you're making your own. And those pictures are on my blog as well. It's fancymade.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm also on Instagram if you guys wanna follow me there. It's at fancymade. And I made a Snapchat account. Finally, it's at Fancy Made. I promise to be posting more videos, um, a little bit more behind the scenes of all the stuff that I do. I'm constantly making stuff, so I'm definitely one of those crazy craft ladies. Not cat lady, but craft ladies. Um, but as always, hopefully you guys are wonderful and well wherever you may be. Sending all of you guys lots of love and light. And I will see you on the next uh, Fancy Made DIY tutorial. Thanks for watching.